Hi all everyone, welcome to my new little vlog. Right, but I finished the waistcoat now, so I've just got to do a couple of things now and it's all finished. Uh, the lining's in lovely on the back, the back line is in with all this beautiful strap, back strap. I've got a beautiful black walled map lining in there. And then, so the last thing, well one of the last things to do now, I've just marked the buttonholes and I'm going to make the buttonholes by hand with pure silk buttonhole twist. With gimp so it's a very traditional way so use my trusty tool here to cut the little holes out so before what i do is a lot of tailors traditional tailors where the line is they'll tack around so they'll base around each of the buttonhole is going to be positioned and they'll cut it i don't do that way what i do is you can even machine it little tiny stitches around okay or you can hand fell it, just back stitch it around. So I do that. And that will keep the layers together once you've cut it. So I do that way. So I don't do the traditional way of doing the other thing. So I've got my tried trusted little tool here. So these are really good, these are invaluable. And I'm just going to just mark here. I've already marked, I've already punched the holes in. So this will punch the hole, it's the hole puncher really. So you can do the last holes here, put a piece of cardboard underneath and I'm going to just punch the last two holes in right on the edge in the middle of the line there and the cardboard is to hold it, it gives it more stability when you, you cut a nice clean hole through one of the tricks of the trade for you there little tip for you there so the last hole here will be here you can just do that now There we go. And then what I do now here, I'll get my little scissors. Okay, there's two ways to cut your hole. There's this little chisel you can have. These are button hole chisels here. You can get them. I got it from Amazon. And this is a 12 millimeter one here. So and this is good. So you can just get a little hammer on a you need to get a, a wooden surface. So I use my little wood block here. So I'll just show you my little wood block. So here's my little wood block here. You can get, get these, you can make one up yourself, get someone who's a carpenter or something, you can do it yourself with like a wood block. And what I do is here, I'll just get my hammer, my little chisel, and I'll just carefully just put that in the middle where that hole is there. And then I'll just, see, I'll just go right up to there. And there we have it, a nice clean hole. You can see now I've actually backstitched it inside so it's not opening up. So it's even remember your machine stitch or I've hand actually hands backstitched it and it keeps the layers together. So I've done that. So or you can I've got some beautiful little sharp little scissors from Guggenheim, a German company, really, really sharp. There's a little video I've done about these scissors, they cut through like double thickness, triple thickness jeans waistbands so they're very thick so you can get some really really sharp scissors and then you can just cut through so whichever way you want to do okay there we have it now i've 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 actually launched a one of the most comprehensive buttonhole courses ever produced it's over one hour long and you can actually buy that from my website i actually go into the hows and whys of making pure buttonholes with silk buttonhole thread. Of course, you can use different threads, but silk buttonhole thread's the best. So it's over one hour long, and I explain in depth tutorial, which you can't get anywhere else. So you'll learn a lot. So they're for sale from my website, very cheap. I can't remember how much, it's not too much money. And so I'll put the link if you want to buy the course for that it's over one i think it's just over one hour long so you won't get a course like that over one hour long on how to make traditional pure buttonholes by hand which we do in the bespoke world exactly how Savile Row do it in london so i'm going to carry on making the buttonhole up now and you'll see what i do so i'm going to stay silent and you'll you'll see what i do so i'll see you soon